people in this video, of course, this pre-COVID video. We're basically looking into a get ready with me a year ago that I just found. And I think it's important to showcase holy grail items that I'm still using as well as items that mm, we dated, but it was not meant to be. So we're doing my favorite date night. I look, it's a lacquered lid. I look by Surratt. So let's get into the video. Let's go. First thing I do when I'm getting ready, I put on a little bit of lip balm. This is Alio Oso in French Melon number two, and it's a very beautiful kind of like pinky orange hue. It's very moisturizing. The company is female founded. They make these bombs in small batches and it's all by hand and it's minimally processed. Awesome customer service I have experience from these people. They are the real deal, very kind. It's a super emollient bomb. It's safe enough to put on your cheeks as well, especially if you're more acne prone. It's the Holy Grail. Next, we're going to check out what I actually use to pin my front frizzy hairs down, the Harry Josh Pro Tools Pro Makeup Wave Setting Clips. I like the idea of them, but they always kind of like rip out my hair, so that's not really fun. Um, I think they're pretty, the color, but it's not a Holy Grail. Before I put my makeup on, I like to do a little skin prep. It's a little decompression, a little me time. I start out with Urban Decay's Quick Fix Hydro Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. <sighs> that is a mouthful. <laughs> This did not turn out to be a holy grail item because honestly, I could just spray water on my face and call it a day. So shout out to Miranda Kerr for making Cora Organics, but um, I tried this for a long time, the Noni Glow Face Oil, and it has a lot of promises that it's a brightening, soothing, a antioxidant rich formula. I didn't notice anything different. So this is not a holy grail item. So another item that I tried for a very long time, even though it's really up for debate if eye creams work or not, I say go to the dermatologist, get your eye cream there. But let's get back to Ola Henriksen's Banana Bright Eye Cream. I used it for a really long time. The promises are it improves firmness. It reduces fine lines and wrinkles. I had never experienced this in the past using it for like more than a year. So I say save your money, not holy grail. To have a moisturizing base, I'm going to put on a sample of Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I think it feels really good going on. The promise is, is that you'll have a dewy, hydrated kind of glow to your skin. It does say it lifts, it transforms. Uh, basically, it pays your taxes. You guys, go to your dermatologist. <laughs> because the C's are all lies. All it did was moisturize my skin fairly well. Thank you very, very much. It's not Holy Grail because it's over $100 if you're thinking about paying tax and shipping. I say it's not a Holy Grail. Okay, this might be a little controversial, but... I love this damn wand. I think it's a total gimmick. I think my hands can do maybe the same, but... I don't know. It just feels so good. So really this is a lymphatic drainage tool. I don't think you need it. So I'm going to do, now this is, I'm not trying to be like iffy, but this is a holy grail, not holy grail. It just depends on your budget situation. So next we're going to do Laura Mercier's tinted moisturizer, natural skin perfecter, broad spectrum, SPF 30. Um, this one I've used for over, I think, six years. It's been a really long time. Uh, we've dated, we've married, we've had children, we live a good life. So this is definitely a holy grail item. I absolutely love it. And it does everything it promises. So Laura Mercier, thank you, girl. Next is my RMS Beauty Uncover Up Concealer, which I actually just put all over my face. Usually I start with my eyes and go all over. 
It's fantastic. It's another holy grail because all the promises come true. It doesn't break me out. It's a really nice coverage, really nice base, very natural. And as you can see, I am trying to calm down my zit Eduardo. So everybody meet Eduardo. I'm the shade 44. I also have a review on it. So I'll put that over to the side so you can click on that and watch that if you're interested. I do use the RMS Beauty skin to skin brush. I love it. It's my tried and true and it is also a holy grail item. In order to calm down Eduardo and not have him the star of the show on my face, I put a few layers of RMS Beauty's Uncover Up on, and then I put on Cover FX Travel Size Matte Setting Powder, and that really helps kind of makes him a little more subdued. So now I'm busting out my always reliable, always holy grail. No need to debate on this one. The Beauty Blender, I'll use a little bit of the cover FX to kind of set my makeup. I'm not a huge like baker, bake person or whatever. You know, I like a natural minimal look and this really helps keep it on all day. I've used this powder for quite some time and I love the fact that I just have the travel size and it's lasted me so long. So this is definitely a holy grail item. So we all know that Kaja Beauty has the cutest, most adorable packaging. So I basically lost my mind when I bought this. <laughs> this is the Cheeky Stamp Blendable Blush and I have it in Saucy and that's a dusty mauve. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of the Foffy, the Foffinette characters that the artist Foffy paints, and they have these cute little heart cheeks, and this basically transported me into becoming a Foffy girl. It blends nicely. You can layer it, but at the end of the day, you can't really wash the sponge, and it's just really a gimmick with hearts. It's not a holy grail, but it's super cute packaging. So next is the Urban Decay Eye Primer, and this is kind of a duh moment because I use the OG Hue, the Natural Hue, and I use it to basically to help combat my oily lids. It's a fantastic primer. It's never failed me, and I've been buying this primer probably for over 10 years. Definitely a holy grail item. I don't think she needs an introduction really. We all know who and what this is. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil and it's dope, it's incredible. It gets these unruly brows in order, gives a little definition. So I use soft brown because it softens my face. If I use something even close to my eyebrow, for some reason when it's colored in, it's a Groucho Mark situation. We know this, it makes my face harder. So I have to stay basically two clicks down from my natural eyebrow color. It's a holy grail. And for my lids, we're going to use the very glossy, very beautiful Surat Beauties Lid Lacquer. And I'm just going to use one color, even though you can layer them um, with the other hues in the collection. I'm using Sato Ume, which is sugar plum. It's really beautiful. It's kind of a muted purple with all these different gorgeous iridescent flecks. Like I see blue, silver, it's really beautiful. And I'm going to just continue to take my finger. You can use a brush, but it sucked. So that was definitely like a no-go situation. You can take your finger and you just layer it constantly. You layer it all over your lid. I do it all over, but then at the end or towards the end, I concentrate in the middle of my eye to give it just a little more definition and dimension. Now it's definitely going to crease and it is a bit messy. So this is, for me, it's a holy grail because I love messing with this kind of glossy feel, texture. I love the way it makes my eyes look. It's not perfect, but I'm a huge fan of kind of like innovative, fun, different ways that light corresponds certain types of makeup. So I really enjoy the lid lacquers. I have the whole collection, but this is definitely a holy grail for me and an individual that kind of wants to play with different textures and different formulas that play with light differently. 
it will crease though. So FYI, one of my main go-tos when I want to get an eyeliner, though I hate the fact I have to sharpen it, the formula is great. It's gonna be the 24 seven Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencils. They have so many great colors. Unfortunately, the one I'm using, Roach, is gone. Um, this is the Deep Copper Brown Shimmer, but they have other colors that are just as good. So this is definitely the eyeliners by Urban Decay are always a holy grail item. So another duh holy grail moment will be this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. And of course I do the soft brown. Honestly, it's even great on its own. You don't need to pencil in your eyebrows. It's just, it keeps everything in check and it's enough hue in the formula that it does kind of color in your brows to give it a more solid, unified, natural look. I have been rocking this Surat Beauty Releve Lash Curler for quite some time. When they first released it, I went from Shiseido to Surat Beauty and I haven't gone back to Shiseido. Um, it's great. It curls my lashes. It's long enough to fit my whole lid to get the base of my lashes. It's just, it's, it's a win-win. It's a holy grail. Now, what surprised me was how much I was going to love the L'Oreal Voluminous it's the original mascara formula, but now they're carrying different colors. I've tried purple, but eh, whatever. But the cobalt blue is absolutely gorgeous. It's really pretty because it just, it looks great on different eye colors, hazel, brown, blue. I just think it's a very beautiful cobalt blue that goes well with so many different eye colors. And it's really inexpensive for that really cool pop of color. This is definitely a holy grail item. And next for a very natural highlighter, I'm using RMS Beauty's Living Luminizer. It's beautiful. It's light reflective. It has a satin pearl finish. It's just very natural, but it gives that kind of candlelight look to your skin, a very pretty healthy glow, a very healthy highlight it showcases. So definitely a holy grail item. The lipstick I'm choosing with this kind of dramatic fun eye is the Penelope Pink and that's in the KISS ING formula by Charlotte Tilbury. It's very nourishing, very comfortable and it's one of my holy grail go-tos. It's a beautiful nude with pink undertones, but certain light, you can kind of see like an orangey peach, very subtle, but really it's my nude with pink undertones, perfect lipstick. And I'm kind of weird. I put on lipstick and then I do the lip liner sometimes. I don't know, because I want to add, you know, a different hue to the lipstick I have on. So here I am putting on Pillow Talk, which is the beautiful, iconic pink nude by Charlotte Tilbury. I do it basically around the perimeter of my lips inside the perimeter and just a smidge outside, but not to exaggerate my pout, but to add a little bit of the color of the lip liner to the lipstick I'm wearing here. And it's definitely, this is my third lip liner that I own, and it's just a great iconic pink nude. So definitely a holy grail item. I hope this helps, especially since we all have new release makeup fatigue. I swear to God, there's something being released like every week and we don't know if it works out. So these products are from last year and Holy Grail means I've been using them even more than for a year. And I think that's really important in the beauty community to watch out for each other's pocketbooks. So this video basically showcases how much I needed a dermatologist at that moment and how certain products just fell by the wayside and didn't really work. They have a lot of hype like the Cora Organics, but it was just a waste of money. So at the end of the day, if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. You can find me on Instagram at 555, as well as Twitter. And always drop a message. I love hearing from you guys. If you have any questions about any products in this video, please let me know. Thanks so much, guys. Stay safe. Bye.